morning guys so today is the day of my hydrofacial I know that they're gonna be using acids so let me show you what I'm I just washed my face so let me show you what I'm gonna put on my face prior because you don't want to irritate your skin or burn it during your um, procedure so look at what I'm gonna put on my face and what I'm not going to put on my face since my uh, face is dry, I have to put something on, so I'm going to put on my favorite eye cream. This one is from Ole Henriksen. I'm also going to put on the Makeup Raw Sauce. This serum is just the hydrating serum. It doesn't have any irritants. And this is the um, facial moisturizer I'm using right now because I ran out of my kale. This is the one from Grown Alchemist. This I got on my FabFitFun box. What I will not be using on my face, I did not wash my face with this um, because it has like little beads and I didn't want to exfoliate my face because exfoliating prior to a facial can irritate or damage your skin. And I will not be using the vitamin C or a vitamin C in liquid or cream form. Um, so I will not be using these. Oh, and also just a little heads up, a week before my facial, I stopped using my lactic or glycolic or any types of acids on my face for exfoliation because of the fact that during the facial, I will be getting a more professional face exfoliation done and using these, it would harm your skin. Um, I don't know if this is like 100% medically whatever like you always have to talk to your facialist but like I said these exfoliate my face I'm going to get an exfoliation done today so I have not used these types of products for over a week just to make sure my skin doesn't get damaged or too sensitive when she applies her medical <laughs> Now remember, this is just for pumping and exfoliation and really for before events. Oh, we have big events coming up. Good. <laughs> or you can actually even do these with two. I like a facial is just step one. You gotta continue doing this stuff yeah. at home. glycolic salicylic peel um, that's just going to help us exfoliate the skin a little bit more on a topical level using products as opposed to a manual exfoliation. Um, there might be a little bit of a sting with this but nothing too crazy. Feels okay right? Yeah. Yeah. And we're using a little bit smaller of a tip here too so that I can get um, more controlled in my areas. Younger, 
kid it's bothered you. Oh yeah. yeah, I used to never wear my hair up. Yeah. Like I was one of those girls who always had to have like my hair covering it. But then as I got older, um, I just and then it goes away. It's actually where we're going to. Um, and Shakti, your skin is beautiful, by Thank the way. You've you. done a great job of taking care of your skin. Yay. So there's not going to be a lot of extractions. I do have some blackheads around the nose areas, like. Of course, everyone's problem area. <laughs> as opposed to a moving so method. Think, yep, and I think that it works a lot better. It just takes a little bit longer. So you said that it's going to be putting in the serum? Right, so now we're putting 26 different antioxidants into the skin, infusing them. And we're pulling the skin up and really getting those in antioxidants in. Now what an antioxidant is, um, there's free radicals in the air, and what a free radical is, is it's any unbalanced cell. So environmental stuff, smoke, um, just anything that's bad for you. Um, what an antioxidant does is it kills off, it helps protect, fight, all of that. So when you have lots of them, you're fighting off all the environment and the stuff that you can't really control out there. This is so cool, isn't it? And it's so relaxing this part. You are going to have a little bit of redness down in here, like I said, just because we went a little bit deeper in that area for extraction. So oh, that's fine. as you saw we did the glycolic the lactic salicylic um, with the microdermabrasion so it exfoliated a lot of my skin but I feel super soft my uh, blackheads over here and over here um, that I have they're all gone so I'm super excited um, and I will keep a lookout for the next couple of weeks to see how my skin looks and how makeup applies now that you saw the vlog portion of my video, let's get into the details of the Hydra Facial. The Hydra Facial is a medical grade facial which cleanses, exfoliates, and infuses your skin with serum and hydration. As you saw, I mentioned that there was four steps to the Hydra Facial. The first being cleanse and exfoliate. This I felt was very similar to microdermabrasion but I thought it was much more gentle on the skin, but more efficient. And I've had microdermabrasions before um, when I used to work at a dermatology office, so it was great to compare and see which I would like better. So the step one, basically, it deep cleanses and it removes any dull or dead skin, which you saw at the very end in that little container. In step two of the process, we did a peel, which is a combination of salicylic acid and glycolic acid on the face. Now this portion of it can be um, 
customized to your skin type and to your preference um, in the strength wise because for a person who's never had a peel or maybe gentle they do customize it so that it won't harm your skin but this part of the um, facial it prepares you for step three which is extraction so the step two acid peel it loosens up any of the congestion or the debris that may be stuck in your skin under layers of it so that when it comes to the extraction part it'll be easier to suck out with step three which is the extraction portion i found it beneficial for my blackhead areas but um this part it is where it sucks out any of your loosened debris um this is the part where if you have acne prone skin they will target that if you have millions like i do they will target that in step four now this was the hydration and protection step um where as you heard she infused my skin with i believe she said 26 different types of antioxidants and a uh, moisture binding hyaluronic serum which it hydrates the skin it plumps it and it protects it from any uh, free radicals in the air and um, it would like suck up your skin and then like infuse the serum in wow you guys my skin felt so hydrated and you guys know I have dry skin I talk about it like a non-stop machine but it felt very moisturized. I would say that did last for like about a week, the hydration, then you just have to upkeep it. It does go away, nothing is permanent, but it was a great, like she did mention in the beginning, this is great for when you have events, which we had a bunch in December. So my skin was more plump and it was lively, which I loved. Depending on your skin needs, the hydrofacial has um, add-ons and boosters, which comes at an additional price. But the add-ons um, range from different types of serums, like vitamin C serum that you may need or something like that for sun damage. Or um, they have an LED mask that you put on if you're acne prone or... Um, like another LED mask for collagen. So there are different types of booster uh, customizations that you can add on to your facial. And the way that they figure that out is in the beginning of your uh, hydrofacial, you take a picture of your face. It's this weird machine, it kind of like scans it and it does it under different lights, under different layers and it shows your skin like your skin's sun damage, your skin's wrinkles, like where you have it, your skin's like bacteria, where you're carrying bacteria. Um, what mine showed a lot was my freckles, um, but there wasn't any types of targeted areas that I needed to add on the boosters. So me personally, I got the standard hydrofacial which those were the stuff that was included in it. Like I said, if you have problematic areas, you may want to add on a booster or um, some kind of an additional treatment to treat whatever targeted uh, skin problems that you may have. This machine is pretty cool. And it tells you the age of your skin. As you heard her mention, she said, I have great skin. I took a great pride in that because like I said, skin for me comes first, makeup comes second. And she, when she told me the age of my skin, I was in shock. I am 32 years old, and she told me that my skin age was 27. So pat on the back for Zarina for taking care of my skin. The girl who did my uh, hydrofacial did mention that you can do this every four to six weeks. If your wallet allows you it is pricey um, I got mine done in Arizona facial plastics for $150 I did find a coupon code from a girl that I watched here on YouTube her name is Leisha and she mentioned her coupon code which saved me 20% so I ended up paying $120 which if you do it every four to six weeks that's very pricey it's been two months since I got the hydrofacial 
and I do find that there are my blackheads are you know coming in um, but it's still not that bad so I personally would not do it every four to six weeks for my personal budget and my skin type and concerns I personally would do it every four to six months do I feel like it was worth it yes it was definitely worth the 120 or the 150 that I would have paid without the coupon I will leave the coupon code down below if you're in the Arizona area and you want to visit Arizona facial plastics um, also mention that you saw my video I don't get any commission so I'm just saying out of the goodness of my heart but this honestly this was a great experience now I will say this when you do a facial you can't go back home and go back into your life regular lifestyle of whatever you're doing you have to maintain your skin and your skin care regimen you do not need 15 steps I hear a lot of girls that I talk to they're like I don't know where to start you only need a good moisturizer for your skin type a good serum which I always say a vitamin C is always good for the Sun good uh, sunblock to protect yourself from any of the UV rays and a good face wash those are the only stuff that you honestly need I know that we all get fancy sometimes and use like all these masks and peels and whatnot but you really don't need all those you can start off with the minimal and just maintain your skin always wash off your makeup at night you guys it that's what clogs up and congests your skin and so and if you're unsure of what to use ask specialists ask your estheticianist ask your dermatologist don't be afraid to ask questions in my personal budget I will be doing a hydrofacial hopefully two times a year to keep the maintenance of my skin glowy and this is why I did not wear any makeup for this video because we're talking about skin so that was enough rambling I hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel hit the bell so you'll be notified for the next videos that I have and until next time bye guys